I took this picture on the Isle of Wight. It was uh, one of these big scooter festivals going on that happens every year over there. And um, when I looked at it, I thought, yeah, I quite like it. Uh, there was a bus in the background here just passing by one of these double-decker buses, and it said, Island Thinker, Think is whatever it says here. And I thought, yeah, thinkers, think. And I thought, he's definitely thinking, or an a thinker. He's, yeah, most definitely a thinker. And he's thinking as well. And I think these two thinkers are thinking... They've seen me taking the picture. <laughs> when I looked at it, I thought, is there anything we can do with this? Well, I like these sort of detailed, nitty-gritty style pictures. So let's take a look at creating one of those. And we're going to deal with the colours as well. First things first, though, the detail. Command-J on a Mac, that is Control and J on a PC to duplicate the background layer. Changing the blend mode of layer 1 from normal. We're going to drop down. We're going to select hard lights. You'll immediately notice the difference. Filter, Other, High Pass. That's where we're heading, and I'm going to knock this back quickly. Pretend you didn't see that, and you'll see the way it's working in conjunction. There it is there with the hard lights uh, layer here. The more we now bring the radius across, the more detail we can start to dial into the picture. Looks pretty good. Let's zoom in as well so we can see exactly what's happening. Just clicking down, taking us roughly to about 100%. There would be pretty good. Switching the preview on and off. There you go. So let's take a look. That's coming to this sort of area here. It would be pretty back a bit. That looks all right there. Click OK. Job done. If I just switch that on and off, there's the before, there's the after. Command 0, Control 0 to go back to fit on screen. You can do a little bit more as well if you really want to so give it a bit more punch. Try using Command J or Control J duplicating this layer again. In fact, you can duplicate it as many times as you want. The other thing you can do is we're on hard lights. You might like to try overlay. That will be slightly softer. Or go to soft lights. You'll notice the way it just sort of calms down a little bit, changing it from hard lights to soft lights. And now you can just use the opacity and just drag in this down until we get to that area that looks pretty good. I like the way this is working. If we just switch those on and off, job done. Right, next for the colour, I find the sort of yellowy greeny colour here is just a little bit overpowering. It distracts from the rest of the picture. So let's see how we can sort of remove the colouring from here and also tone the rest of the colours down and bring some of the other colours through just to make it a bit more vibrant. Dropping down to the adjustment layers, we're going to go straight to hue saturation. With hue saturation open, we're going to click on this arrow here. This is going to be the color selector arrow, or the finger with the pointer thing through it. Clicking down, it's gone to yellow, so select yellow from the drop down menu if you're using any other version of Photoshop. Moving it across, you can see the greens, yep, are definitely going from there. You'll notice we've also lost the yellow from his scooter thing here whatever that scooter thing is called. So clicking in the little window, we're going to move this across. And as I move this across, you'll notice the way that the yellow from the bus is definitely gone. And we're bringing back the yellow into his scooter. So he's still looking reasonably happy. He's not quite sure what's going on yet, but I think he's getting there. Right, that looks good there. Just looking at the yellow around where it says the island there, and just moving that down. That looks pretty good to that area would do nicely. Coming in, selecting green, or you can click on and select whatever color you want. Again, taking the saturation of the greens right down like that. That looks pretty good. In fact, I'm going to come in and I'm going to select, or well, just with the arrow, click on this. we got our blues, cyans, and again, just clicking down, dropping it down. That looks pretty good. That's it. Love the way that's coming through there working nicely so far. It's entirely up to you and your pictures as to what colours you want to remove, but just by removing a few colours you can see the way it's actually changed the look of the image completely. We've gone from that to this. There is one more colour that I want to remove and if we just zoom in I'll show you here. This guy has got a... Uh, stay still when I'm speaking to you, thank you. Rather funny hat on, not sure it goes completely well. So what we're going to do is click down, it's red, moving it across and you can see as I move it across I'm just left with a bit of fringing coming around the side there and I've got a feeling if I click down if I move this across just selecting the outer arrow there I can remove that so we're actually going into the magenta area and the blue area that looks pretty good like this 
Right, you'll now notice we have lost considerably more of the colors in our picture. However, clicking back on this, it comes with a mask coming across. In with the paint bucket tool, you also have the gradient tool. We're going to select the radial gradient, clicking in the window here to get our gradient editor. The preset we're using is the foreground to transparent. That is important, foreground to transparent. Coming up 100% opacity, pressing 7 to give me 70% opacity. Making sure you're working on the mask, so you've got this framework around here. Starting down with his yellow that we removed, and there's his little hooters coming through on his scooter. So you should now be happy. Coming through like this, bringing back the reds on there, just quickly coming over. The reds in his jacket as well. Little bits of greens here. Not going to go too mad with this. Bringing back that area there and over her jacket and the badge there. Little bit of color in the flag. Using the gradient tool I find handy. You don't have to bring all the color back. In fact, sometimes just fading off on the edges can look particularly good. Something like that there just gives it a little bit more of that grungy effect. Looking at the picture, I'm not sure that our main characters, our three thinkers and our happy chappy here are looking particularly well. So let's come in and make them feel better. Going to drop the opacity from 70% to 30% by pressing 3 on the keyboard. So we've now dropped down to 30%. Exactly the same. You can of course use the slider, but I just find it a lot easier using the shortcuts of the numerical 3. Let's bring him back. There he is there, looking a bit healthier now. Doing his Robert Redford style pose there. Yep. Coming through, making our happy chappy a bit happier. And that looks pretty good like this. Over to Joe, I'm absolutely sure this is my bank manager. Positive. So that's what he spends his weekends doing, driving around on scooters and playing, listening to The Who. Right, coming across there. Through we go. And over. And if you go over one part and you think it's a bit too rich, you can just press X on the keyboard and just take it out a little bit more. That looks better like that on him. Pressing X again and coming and giving this person here a little bit more color and let's give this guy a bit of color in the background as well just bring him back the red you can see the way they've done the red on the the union jack there quite like that and that's why the gradient tool comes in so handy a little bit of color to his glasses but give color bring him back like that looks pretty good right command zero control zero to zoom out there we are that is our finished image let's take a look we started off with this a bit of a snapshot. It's alright, I can take it, don't mind, you know, coming through, giving it the detail. There it is, just a little bit more detail again. Of course, with this, you can come in, you can reduce the opacity, should you desire. You can come in with this. There's the colors. We can reduce, we can change the colors even further. For example, I've just noticed that there's still a little bit of a fringe around this guy's hat here, which I've deliberately left in so I can show you. You can come in, you can just take that out. There, just removing the magentas down a touch has just removed that. There was a bit of a cast as well, just around the tops of on the around the lip area there, I suppose it is. And command zero, control zero, fit on screen. Job done. Go on, give it a try. It really does work a treat. It's a great way of just sort of giving your images one of those sort of different look. Until the next time, it's happy imaging and take care.